Up till the end, Duvalin remembered his duty as one of the Four Winds. As such, I don't intend to forcibly strip him of that duty and force my ideals of freedom onto him. I just hope that Duvalin will be able to choose for himself and understand what freedom is. Before I became an Archon, I too was taught the meaning of freedom in this way by a friend. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Kaya shared some new intelligence, you say? Oh, I see. So, the Abyss Order has a prince who orchestrated the plan to corrupt Duvalin? They were probably trying to turn Duvalin into a weapon of war for the Abyss. But that said, I have never heard of any such prince of the Abyss Order. I think so too. Apparently. But how does a princess come out of nowhere and take command over the entire Abyss Order? If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Kaya shared some new int- oh, I see. They were probably trying to turn Duvalin into a weapon- I think so too. Apparently. If you wanna chat, now's the time. That Fatui lady didn't hang around, did she? She just grabbed your Gnosis and left? She wanted to avoid any eyewitnesses from the Knights of Favonius. The slightest slip up here would have destroyed the Fatui's diplomatic relations with the Knights. So they're just gonna keep acting like Mondstadt's allies as if nothing happened? <sighs> if only the Seven Nations had banded together against the Abyss Order in the first place. The Fatui possess the strongest military among the Seven Nations, yet they've used it to steal the Holy Liar, covet the power of gods, and use Duvalin as a bargaining chip against the Knights. Speaking of the Liar, didn't Diluc say something like this before? He said that the Fatui can only run amok across the Seven Nations and threaten the Knights because of the Harbingers. Yes. As I said earlier, the Cryo Archon has given them authority and strength beyond that of other mortals. The Tsaritsa. Oh, I haven't seen her in 500 years. What is she thinking? What's her plan? Whatever the answer is, I have a feeling it's only going to make your search for the Seven all the more difficult. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. As I said before, vision wielders are known as allogenes and may ascend to Celestia. A gnosis is a higher order nexus of elemental manipulation and is emblematic of an archon's status as one of the Seven. But as for which of the seven took your brother... I'm sorry, I don't know. Wait, as one of the seven, I'm not clear of suspicion yet either, am I? Hang on a hot second! Tone Death Bard is just one of Barbados's many incarnations! Who's to say that- <laughs> We're a great team indeed. Say, once you find your brother, how would you like to become one of the new Four Winds? Hmm, you don't seem too into it. Hey, Tone Deaf Bard! If being one of the Four Winds means free food, you can consider Paimon! <laughs> if you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Well then, best be off to Lue. If the dissension ritual you failed to tally, then another year you must dally. <laughs>